Friends, today I'm going to tell you about a very iconic and outstanding classic in education called as Teacher by Sylvia Ashton Warner. Sylvia taught for 24 years in New Zealand in a Maori school. Maoris were the original inhabitants of New Zealand. And very soon she realized that the British primers which were being used in Maori schools had nothing, had no track with the culture or the lives of the Maori children. She said this is a kind of, a, it's a colonial imposition on these tribal people. And the best thing she did was to throw out all the British primers from her infant room. Sylvia coined a term called as emotive words. She said that the first words in a child's life should have enormous emotional attachment. So every day when a child would come to the class, she would ask the children, what is the word you want today? So one child would say, I want drink. Some would say, I want knife. Why drink? Because yesterday the boy's father had come totally drunk at home and bashed up the mother. And this boy was a witness to it. So the word drink was very, very important for this child. Sylvia believed that start with the child's experiences and made that the raw material for writing. And then the children would learn much faster. So Sylvia would write drink on a thick card sheet. She said, don't write it on a thin paper because the child is going to sleep with it. He's going to play with it. The next day when the children came down to the class, she would ask them, as we normally do in every class, make a sentence out of this word. She would say, tell me the story of drink. And the children would start recounting their own experience in the house, how the father had bashed up the mother last evening. And while recounting the story, the children would be weeping. They would be weeping profusely because it had such an impact on their hearts. And what Sylvia did was to write down these experiences, the children's story in their own words on the blackboard or a chart paper. And because it was their own story, the children started reading it. The third day when the children would come to class, Sylvia would say, draw pictures on the story. And the children would come up with fabulous drawings to illustrate their story. The upshot was that within a period of six months, one of the poorest schools in the world, a tribal school, produced 60 illustrated primers, which was the warp and weft of the lives and the experiences of the Maori children. Now this concept of using keywords, of using emotive words, was extended and used extensively by Paulo Freire, the revolutionary educationist from Brazil. Paulo Freire taught landless laborers, farmers, uneducated youth to learn to read and write within just six weeks, 45 days. He became very famous. He taught 300 sugarcane cutters to read and write in 45 days. And he said that for this we need a different kind of vocabulary uh, where H stands for hunger, I stands for interest. It's, we must take key words from the lives of the people and then people will start thinking that these are their own words, these are their own stories. Anything which you plaster from the above will just peel off. Now this revolutionary technique has been used in many parts of the world to expedite reading. So Teacher is a very key book by Sylvia Ashton Warner, which talks about organic, organic reading, emotive words, and it's a must read. Thank you.